a very good evening my name is Alok Shivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel so what's in this video apart from this uh, gorgeous machine out here fine in this video I'm going to show you how to start blocking spam using postfix remember friends this is step number one means this is not the end means after configuring this particular uh, like uh, going through this particular video I'm not saying that you will be able to block all the spam but you are just started so let's see how to block the spam and, and let's see what are the common uh, attacks or uh, like the gates uh, the spammers might use to uh, flood you with the, the spam let's see so again uh, as in all the videos I have a virtual machine here for you this is wordserver.example.com so I have the basic postfix configured here I'll give a service I will just make it slightly bigger for you so I have a basic postfix configure running kicking and live that's great so I give a service postfix restart what uh, normally happens uh, I think this is much better that's great let me adjust the things so it suits you yo so the postfix is, r is running and live normally what happens what a uh, attacker can do in this uh, I had already configured the steps for you but I had disabled all those steps these things are required the basic UBE or unsolicited bulk email or we call it spam by love or how to book this so I had these steps I'll explain you all these steps but first it is when we don't configure these things what are the dangers to us let's see I have a couple of user accounts here I give you e uh, etc password you can see there I have got couple of user accounts Alok, Arren and Arnav here now suppose a attacker is trying to hit me he give uh, word server dot example dot com and obviously he's going to hit me on port number 25 out here 25 he might try to find out the usernames or the mailboxes available on this particular word server dot example dot com so he can easily try the command verify command it's a very uh, like a handy command or a very uh, common command used by the spammers only now normally any person who is not interested in the spam will never execute this command so by using the verify command I, I can try to find out whether some user accounts are there or not that's great look verify command is very dangerous whenever you give verify and then the, some fictitious name or some name you, you want to hit with so verify command will respond him back yeah, that yes this mailbox exists now a spammer can flood me with bulk like unwanted mails on this particular mailbox suppose I try to give say jack at wordserver.example.com this account is not here so it will give me recipient address rejected so it is actually doing a reiki inside my system by using the verify command so spammers use this command very often and one more thing that spammers can do he, he can give like a mail from if you are comfortable using uh, the telnet for this I give say alloc at localhost this is acceptable and I give recipient to say I give rn okay means everything is allowed so spammers generally do what they try to hide their fully qualified domain name and instead of using the fully qualified domain name like alloc at wordserver.example.com or rn at gmail.com they try to uh, hit you with some fictitious name which may or may not be a fully qualified domain name so one thing you need to take care of that that if it is a spam the chances are that it is it will not be coming from a fully qualified domain name so what to do I'm quitting it out out here that's great going to my configuration main.cf I'll share you first thing that you need to do is that make it bold so I'd make it bold for you though it is not required in my lab as such basic UB or unsolicited bulk email blocking first make sure you activate SMTPD hello record hello required means the clients must say hello or they must authenticate themselves disable the verify command obviously I had just shown you the danger 
or uh, means the range or the kind of capabilities the, the verify command has so it is always recommended to disable the verify command to stop doing a reiki inside your machine and I just activate uh, sorry these lines I'll explain you all these I had written it to uh, save the time fine SMTPD recipient restrictions reject invalid host names means the mails are not allowed if the host names are not in a proper manner means uh, local hosts are not allowed uh, yahoo dot uh, pp not allowed or uh, abc not allowed reject non fqdn host names that's great fully qualified domain names so local hosts are being rejected reject non fqdn sender reject non fqdn recipient Re reject unknown sender domain you want to block up whole domain reject unknown recipient domain reject unauth pipelining pipelining is actually like used by the spammers to hit you using some application means as you know the meaning of the piping in linux means they are using some dictionary based attacks to hit you so that particular command will help you avoiding that permit my networks obviously my range of ips and unauthenticated destinations so just write these lines here this is just the starting of it and just save it out that's great service postfix restart what's the big deal how it has changed my life let me show you again say I'm some spammer I'm trying to hit you out so now the machine will if I don't write the hello command I'm trying to skip the hello command and I'm trying to give verify command vrfy verify alloc at word server dot ex example dot com it says verify command disabled job done guys job done means he cannot do a reiki inside your system that's great he says mail from without doing a hello without saying hello he's trying to hit you say rn hey guy please hello first okay so I need to follow the steps hello say I give word server dot example dot com that's good now you are allowed to count to uh, say communicate then what if I give now mail from alloc at word server dot example dot com that goes out but if I give recipient to say rn I say no you need to give fully qualified domain names I cannot give recipient to rn at localhost no so that makes sense so in this way I had just shown you a demo in this way you had just started securing your server from unsolicited bulk mails so I hope you like this video and if you want a text version of this just go to our sites www.networknuts.net and you can see the whole video here in the text format so you are always welcome to go there and check it out so I hope you like it here it is www.networknuts.net thank you very much God bless see you again soon